What about now? Yeah, it's up. Alright, here we go. Sorry for the delay, guys. I'm getting ready to enter in this bobber burbot. This one could be a pain in the butt for sure. Uh, basically, it's going to be the largest six burbot caught in the keep net at the end of the deal uh, here. So, a key note, you can fish from your boat, but you cannot use a rod stand. So, you can fish from the shore or the boat, but you still got to use one, one rod, and it's got to be match tackle to catch the fish. Uh, again, the scoring is going to be based off of uh, your six largest burbot in your net. Um, the rewards is the three-foot mini crank. I guess it'll be one to pick up as well as the X-Series 6-inch grub. The medium spoon um, as well would probably be a good one. Also, the uh, everybody's got the, the X-Series opposite hook. so Or the uh, X-Series barbless hook. That wouldn't be that big a deal there. Um, again, it's going to be 45 minutes, and it is kind of in a lousy peak. The worst part is, you know, you're using a float rod. So that's what's going to be the difficult part in this thing. So I'll go ahead and jump into it and uh, make sure I got my setups. I got a couple different unique baits I'll try. Uh, just kind of keynote here. Um, a lot of this stuff here that I just threw in my bag does work. Uh, but you guys, you know, bourbon will bite quite a bit of things. But I just got a few that I think that's isolated out a little bit. Uh, my trouble in the past has been getting uniques. But again, going into these things, uh, I never guarantee a bite rate. Okay, we'll go ahead and enter into this. I'll kind of show you the markers as I go along. Again, to save a little bit of time as I cast out, I'll show you the markers or I'll show you the markers right at the end. Again, this one can be extremely slow. Okay, it's going to be the Nunez people, I guess, that own this. I thought it was the, uh, the FWAs, but I know there's a team in here that kind of just rolls this thing. But I have not played in this since March, when I around the time I first started playing in comp. So, again, I'm just going to show you the basic idea. Hopefully, uh, get you a little bit of a head start so you get in this. This this first spot, you kind of want to drive all the way down here at the end of the map. Go kind of slow because your rocks, and uh, you'll notice the screen actually loads fairly slow. Uh, this will be the first part spot that I start at that's just uh, you guys will recognize this is at the bottom of the map uh, this is just a common mark but there is a trophy and unique here uh, for whatever reason I can never get the uniques in the uh, in this as well but there's the burbot right there I normally just kind of cast by that rock and let it float down one key note is I try to keep this bobber fairly deep on both rods, I got two different rods, so I do bring a waggler so I can bottom that out. Uh, if you don't have the uh, freshwater crab or the prawns, uh, you could probably use large minnows if you want, but you will get collect, uh, collateral damage on the side. Thanks, Warm, buddy. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, this one's extremely difficult, can be really annoying. So again, I'm just trying to give a base for everybody so somebody comes in here and at least can catch a fish, hopefully. This is one of those ones you could come in here and get completely skunked. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. Again, the hard part is the bobber does float, so you kind of have to try to get it to bottom out. So, in other words, set your bobber extremely deep. If you notice, I did quick set that. There's so much play in my bobber that the uh, we did get a trophy right off the bat, which is good. Uh, now this is any guys that watched me warming up for this a second ago at the end of my long stream. Uh, this thing, it's a very odd, odd comp. I'm still trying to figure out myself why uh, it won't let me cycle through and get any any unis.
Again, I haven't figured this thing out completely, but I do got enough to get people a head start on it. As you can see, almost there for some reason. It does look like uh, my crab's bottomed out or something. Something I'm seeing there. So I'll back this up and just kind of let it float down. As you can see, my crab is on top of the water, so I'm going to reel that back up and recast it. Uh, the hard part is on this thing, again, just because your bobber's moving. Yeah, this one's tough, man. Uh, me and John had practiced this, my buddy Bally, way back when we first started getting in comps. We could never figure out how to get the uni in the comp, but we could get it out of the comp on the same peak, but go figure. So I, I don't know, but I know some of these teams got this thing figured out. But again, I'm just trying to give you guys a general description of what I do, give you a few marks. Uh, the odd part is here, I'll get a trophy, sometimes a common or two, and then for whatever reason, I cannot get that... Uh, the uni to bite the hook range i would say anywhere from four to seven oh you know i've caught the unix on a seven oh and i've caught them a four to uh just out of the just out of the comp for whatever reason i cannot get them in the comp um now you can use minnows as well they're very you know, they do like the minnows uh, but the linux you know the shiners as well i'm trying to isolate out because there's linux over here depending on where you're fishing uh shrimp works okay and the uh the freshwater prawn or the uh, freshwater, or the Gulf shrimp actually work well too, but sometimes you will get the linic on those. I think the highest I got in this was 65-ish or somewhere in there. Might not even that high. Might have been 50 something. I know I had three trophies in it once and uh, uh, three nice commons. That just for whatever reason I can never get a uni. Yeah, butt bot, pretty much, Mariska. They might have, bro. Like I said, I uh, I think they broke Willow, bro, too, somehow. So I don't know if it's the update or, or what's going on. I'll give this spot a few more minutes if I don't get anything. But like I said, uh, this one's just odd. I've sat there and tried to wait this out uh, before after getting a trophy here or a common or two. And for whatever reason... I just don't get get much out of it. But I played this played this back in March. That's where a lot of these uh, these markers came from that I'll show you. But again, um, some of the top guys were saying the large cut bait or not large cut bait. Uh, yeah, large cut bait, not huge cut bait. Five zero. Uh, but I, it's weird as I practiced this peak before and got them in uh, when maybe my buddy practiced on the template. But every time I come in here. It's kind of the same thing. Even though we're fishing the same peak, uh, this happens. I'll give it a little bit longer and I'll rotate out. Again, I'm just putting these up here to give you guys a base idea and some markers and kind of what I found that worked for me. Uh, from there, it's up to you guys to kind of figure out the rest of it. But, you know, when you look up there and the same guys are running over and over, it does uh, get a bit confusing and frustrating. So, again, just trying to give, there might be a guy that watches this later on, has a couple marks he can put with it and, you know, string some things together and hopefully do a little better. But again, as you can see, I caught the one and I'll, I'll rotate. Let me try uh, before I rotate spots. Let me try the uh, golf shrimp just in case. Thanks, Dutch. I did get a trophy fairly quick, but I've been through this situation before. Uh, now, I've, I'm bringing this along just to try a little lighter line here on my Brutus uh, just to see if that's a key. My hopes is they're not one pump chomping with a Troy or something with that 13 pound test line to get a better bite. Uh, also a possibility. I'm not sure how they would do that and get the bobber deep enough or what bobber that they could put on a uh, Troy to get the depth needed. Uh, unless they're just one pump chomping. They got a spot or something. And I, I hate to say that, but I, I don't know. Between meaty fellas and some of the other things I've been seeing uh, lately, I don't know what to think anymore. But golf shrimp works fine. Um, and then, of course, the, uh, the crab as well. As you can see, I did quick set that. That's one key. When you hear that ding, go ahead and start reeling because my bobber. Uh, let me explain this to you in a minute. You understand it. Basically, since I bottomed that out, out there, um, I've got it extremely deep 
because in other words the bait is going to be way behind the bobber if that makes any sense or way ahead of the bobber so when you hear that ding if you guys seen how i set that hook when you hear that ding and your controller vibrates a little bit uh just like i showed you on the quick setting guide um make sure that in other words when you hear that ding have that up and be ready to reel just because uh it's you know the uh the separation between the float and the bait itself can cause you to lose a fish so it's the only way I figured this out. The only other thing that I can think of that they might be doing is uh, either using a Troy or they're sinking a like a sport float. If you guys are following along, sinking a sport float to where it acts like a bottom rod. But to me, it made the most sense to try this. So, but they, there might be a better strategy. But this at least gets you on the board, uh, and then from there, like I said, just try to figure it out. But I've, I've watched this cycle out. I, I probably played this one five or six times. Me and John got really frustrated at this one. Uh, when we first tried playing it, we were getting pissed off. So we're, we, we've got a little bit of a system going. We were hoping to get where we got the uni, but uh, by then we'd had all kinds of other comps and started in a tournament, so we never got to revisit this one. But again, I, I've sit here before uh, practicing in the same peak, set this thing out and got a uni, but for whatever reason, it will not let me do this in here, so... My best advice is to rotate, um, you know, I got four spots I think I'm going to show you. Um, from there, it's going to be kind of up to you to add another spot and figure out how far you rotate. Again, travel time and whatnot, you might only be able to hit three or four spots. So, um, you know, it's the best six. It's the best six in this thing. So, ideally, you can get a uni, but I have not got one yet not not in the comp i've got it in the practice template before you know it's your best it's your best six so even though my score looks good now uh you know if a guy gets three unis three trophies obviously he's going to smash you and i don't know what they've learned since uh now i want to say it was the jack sparrow group or is that the fwa uh this is syringe bro this one will make a grown man cry i ain't gonna lie me and john came in or john played it by himself first he, he got, not picking on my boy, but he went through and got skunked. Kind of like I did in the Dream Bream last night. I don't know if you guys watched that damn thing. I don't know if my, I don't know what happened there. But anyway, a <clears throat> whole other story in itself. He come and played in this thing and got zero fish. So we went in and practiced it and got to where we could score decent in it. But we, for whatever reason, when we come in the comp, it won't give us a uni. Even though we got several uni marks for it getting them from even just doing it in the, uh, the practice template but like i said uh, the main two baits i liked was the golf shrimp and the, uh, the freshwater crab uh, some people were saying large cut bait i think john's favorite was the minnows large minnows but for me i just kept getting too many collateral too many different things was hitting it But in other words, the odds are for me I'll get two trophy and four common in my net. Uh, but that's not going to not gonna put you all the way up there. But at least it'll make you feel like a man or feel like you're not just completely stupid in here. But you guys think that out in your head if you want to play it. Are they sinking up? You know, because the bottom is the way to go for the burbot. I mean, you guys that's fished here. Fishing in a really strong current with the bobber is not ideal when the, when the, the burbot themselves are kind of bottom feeders. So I don't know if they're sinking a sport float, maybe. Something like that. But I'll go ahead and take you up to this other spot. Again, you might want to try to wait that out, but I have before. Uh, again, I want to make sure I get you a routine around here. Now this spot up here, um, you can actually, where's those totem poles? Okay. This is actually a spawn point too. So if you got desperate, you could spawn where those totem poles are and just cast over to this spot. Let me set my anchor, and I'll, uh, I might actually have to float here. Let me float, just in case I can pull my bobber back where I need to be. I will show you a uh, unique mark. Um, that was at 196 inches. You can see what I caught it off of, so you know I'm not just messing with you guys. Yeah, that was back in February when we were messing with it when we first started in comps. Um, so right there. And then there's another just random common spot if you needed it. But you can come over here to that spawn point if you wanted. You can fish in a boat, obviously, out of this, but you cannot use a rod stand. Uh, again, I left that note on there, 169 or something. I'll try this and see if it's active. 
Now sometimes you might pick up something else off the golf shrimp, but it does work. So I'll rotate between the two and to see if this spot's active or not. But you can see that the, the gap in between again, nothing against Ramon, or Roman and or who, or what is that? Ramonzer, uh, General Nunez, of course, he's a good player. And Lucas, nothing against them guys. They just did this very thing and they just worked together on it. So what they're doing exactly unknown. Are they sinking a, a bobber, a sport bobber? Or are they just using, doing something like this and they got really good hot spots and perfect hook size and a perfect bait? I, I don't know. Don't know. I didn't have time to revisit. This is the first time it's came up when I've been on. And I hadn't had it up on the channel yet. I actually had people message me earlier. Uh, how do I do this one? And was sending me a screenshot of uh, the bobber bourbon. I was like, give me five minutes. I'm running a little late. Again, this is a tough spot because of the current. Even though I got that bottomed out, you guys can see it's, it's traveling farther than I want it to. And that's the tough thing is how are they uh, how are they keeping that in place? Are they just sitting here waiting for it to bite on a certain marker and then just quick setting them in? I do not know. But this one would have been a lot more fun if it was kind of like the uh, Cornish Jack one where you could actually have a rod stand in this bottom fish form. But again, Fishing Planet likes you to uh, have to work and figure things out as well. So I, I can kind of understand what they're doing. And Josh, if you happen to be watching, you see who the guy is in second up there? And that's the same guy that was in that in the hair on minimal that's like a level 54 that's got like 80, 80 or 90 pedestals somehow at a level 50. Looks like a double account. Again, if I don't get a bite, I'll... Uh show you a couple other spots but again this one's convenient because you can just spawn point to it but as you can see if you went to that first spot at most of, every time that I've played in this that first spot that I got that trophy is almost always active and again listen to what Charles was saying a lot of these things if you can figure that out when, when the spot's active, maybe. Okay, we did get a bite. Let's see if I don't mess this up. Nope, I got him. See, I had to quick set that, even though that bobber didn't move, just because of my bait. So there's such a difference between where my bait is. And again, since I'm catching smalls, uh, you know, at the end, it's not going to add up too good, unless you get trophies in uni, so... But this will at least keep you guys from getting skunked. Is he using a Troy? Oh my god, hold on. I'm so sick of that crap. Almost started cussing. What's his name? Okay, maybe guys are using a Troy. Of course they are. To get the accelerated bite rate. For 13 pound line, they're one pump chomping it. Okay, I see that now. You see that, boys? Here's another thing, and I, I, I don't know if this guy just came from another platform, so I'm not going to say it. It's 100% sure double account, but when you got a level 55 guy, it's got 45 first places, 41 second places, and 39 thirds. Makes a guy raise his eyebrows. And, he, and they're using a Troy. <sighs> so maybe that's the key, boys. Use the Troy.
I want to see if it'll load for me. Hold on. Well, yeah. Well, I don't think he's spotting for it. This guy looks to be playing legit. This guy's using a Brutus, because that's what I'm using. He might be using the Brutus there, so. He's definitely not using a feeder. What is that? Yeah, he's not using feeder rods. This guy's in first, so. This guy looks like, is he spotting for him? They may be spotting. It is a European lake. So you can kind of do that, guys, if you look at that. But uh, this guy here looks like he's doing stuff legit. This guy here, and I don't mind saying it, but to me that just looks fishy. The whole account looks fishy. Pardon that fence. We are fishing, but jeez. So I, I guess that's what one of you guys could do if you wanted to do that. And it's not like you're pulling out 300-pound uh, combo and the meaty fellas with it. I mean, it's only a 30-pound 30 pound fish, but in other words, if you follow along with what I'm saying, if they're using 13 pound braid with some fluoro or something in it, uh, the light line might entice the bite from a uni quicker uh, than it would something else. Okay, see, I messed that one up. I didn't let it vibrate enough. But again, because this is set so deep. Actually, I didn't have that in a seven day deep enough, did I? That's 69. In other words, it's possible he's sitting right here like this, not, not the guy that's winning. It's possible that some of these people and some of these comps are just sitting here pulling out. Oh, you did spot. Yeah, see, that's possible. It's possible you could spot for him. I should have. Uh, that's what I should have came in and tested earlier. But nonetheless, this will give you a basic idea of what you're doing. trying to do the math what is the math on that that's about 11 pound average isn't it give or take because 72 times 6 times 12 72 so he's got about 11 pound average Kind of where that marker is all the way down to where that, that second buoy is. You can just let it float. And then pull it back. But it's possible they could just be spawning out catfish destroyer, a little bit of big riverine, uh, maybe some big octopus, that sort of thing. It's something that I can try later just to see if it... Uh... Josh, you did say you were just spawning and, and you got... Uh, what mix did you use, you remember? My small mix, okay. Again, you're not 
not going to gain too awful much for those you kind of need the trophy so I'll let this play out just for a little longer but there's two other shots spots I was going to show you trying to think math wise if you were to hit three spots and got three unis I don't know if you could get that many done unless it multiplies trophies and gives you one that's a decent sized in other words for the time constraints by the time you spot it out ten times or so you're looking at four or five minutes just of spotting Not the mints and the current so strong you think it would take the spot, but it might still attract them. Okay, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you the couple other spots. So you guys have that mark. And then spot three for me would be. And just remember, you can spawn right there and just cast over if you needed to. And give me a second so I don't get lost up here. That's not it. That's not it. I think it's over here. Yeah, it's over here. There's three spots over here. If I don't wreck, I might wreck. I did wreck. I'm still here. This marker right here in front of my boat. This marker. But you can walk these so just put your boat out here. And you can hit all three of these from the bank if you wanted to. And just rotate between the three. I'll show you the markers again. I'm not looking to break records yet. This is just getting the base for everybody started here. And then you guys can compare notes or whatever you wanted to do. That was a 4-0. And there's large minnow unique there. And that's a short cast. Um, that was with no spawn. More burbot here. And I want to say right... Hold on. Right here as well. So all along this little bank right here you can get them. But we'll try here first. I'm still going to... I'm going to shell it up a little bit. I want to say we could go around 80 inches or something in here. Again, just kind of hold it in place. Assuming it's active. Again, if you wanted to try the large cut bait or something else, entirely up to you. And many of your lower level guys that don't have this freshwater crab, obviously do try large cut bait. Uh, it will work as well. Meat chunk. Um, Probably any of those things will work. Chicken liver, something like that. But I would assume at level 48 you should have quite a few things. But my rotation was the golf shrimp and the uh, freshwater. I think John was doing large minnows and something else. Let me try something too. I might have shallowed this. I don't think this was very deep here. Let me try 60. If 
that does not seem active. After three attempts, move to one of these other buoys over here. I'll do it again. But we have caught them all through here. Probably could have switched the shrimp too. just to make sure I can't cast I've gone blind micro lag Got a bite. Again, as you can see, I just reeled that up on speed one so I could set the hook. All right, there's a trophy. That does help. That did increase us up to sixth place. See, the difference of kind of rotating two baits does help you guys if you didn't notice. We wasn't getting crap. I'm glad I did that before I rotated because I would have left 11 pounds behind. Damn near 12. And the odd part is we didn't have to spot John or I. You guys have seen the markers. We, we fished this thing in this peak. And, uh, yeah, so here's the thing. And even this poor LTC hard, try hard Sloan's is saying, only OG. Yeah. Well, we can see who's on top already. That guy that's a level 54 that somehow he's some phenom. Again, we're not going to gain much unless we catch bigger ones, so. But, yeah, it's just, when every time I see a Troy in somebody's hand, uh, unless you're doing the shark thing, which everybody knows to use the Troys in the shark thing, I don't know why you would have a Troy and a Bobber Burbot unless you just never leave your inventory. So, I, I don't know. I just have my suspicions. Again, for just the sake of the video, we will switch to large minnows just to see if uh, anything crazy happens over here. Can't cast anymore? And you can see uh, two thirds of the comps already over. That and the bait's already going to want to travel on its own, so that's what kind of another reason. John did like minnows, a notable on that. But it doesn't seem to be doing any good for me. See, and that's where I'd get stuck. You notice I got a trophy from both spots. Um, now, I was a little impatient, but I have been patient in the past and set those out in this comp, and I will not get a bite. So, I will go ahead and... And let me try... Let me see something. I still got another spot to show you, so... And again, 
obviously out at too many marks that you have. Never hurts to have too many marks when you have comps. And then simply put, put your rotation together. If you notice a pattern, you got spots one through six, maybe, you know, spot one, two, four, and six are always active together, and then three and five warm up later. But you got to have that mentality anytime you're playing these comps, guys. Yeah, Josh and me, Josh and John are trying to try to practice that tomorrow. It's supposed to be horrible. I'm already dreading it. I'm hoping that uh, my best chance is probably going to be in the uh, Amazon, but no guarantees. I don't even know what peak it is yet. I think it's the double hump, double hump peak. Hell, speaking of which, Fork, uh, did you do the qualifier with them or that uh, practice qualifier? Do you remember what peak it was? Was it that double, like double camel peak? Uh, you know, I need to pull that up. I haven't even looked at that yet. But I got a nice chief flag in my front yard, brand new, I just put up. Again, as you can see, see what happened there? Just because my bobber is so far ahead of where my bait was setting. Make sure that you are quick setting those things. It takes a little bit of practice, but again, that was just a common, but I'll go ahead and throw it back because we got a bite. In other words, the bait, the bait sinks where I want it to, and then your bobber moves. But don't sit there and let it play with an hour. And you might miss one here and there, but you hear that ding, and then as soon as your, you know, your controller vibrates, that's an advanced tip. You feel that controller vibrate, then you set that hook, boys. I've got to where I can get 80 to 90 percent of mine like that. I will mess up every once in a while. But again, the bobber will get a little bit ahead of the bait. In other words, there's way too much slack in the line when he goes to start biting on it. But that's the only way I could find the, uh, to get the bait to stay where I wanted to. So, and While your guys' wheels are turning on something like this, they might be using a, a, a weird sport bobber or something and just sinking it. I, I don't know. And just to see... Try this spot real quick. It's the long step peak, I think. I didn't do exact conditions. Okay. I thought you were, uh, they were setting up qualifiers the other day. Me and Josh was looking at it, but we couldn't figure out uh, the exact peak. Now, again, just for the skill gap or the experience gap in this sort of thing, I have put up 40 points, which I'm fine with. But I know I, I know I got in. I took fifth or sixth in this once before, but it, uh, it can piss you off if you didn't know what the hell you were doing. to make sure this spot's not dead because I know I've got a trophy here before. Rotate baits. You guys notice in a lot of my perch videos, I'm constantly, uh, unless something's really hot, I do that with shads and anything. Poppers. Just a simple adjustment. Sometimes it'll get you a bite and sometimes it won't, but at least try it. <laughs> Also note there, my bobber's not moving all too much, so maybe I want it to drift just a little. Never know exactly how deep that is there, so I'm going to shell it up just a hair. And see if it'll move just a little bit. And let it float across it. Uh, 
and again your, your strategy might be wait one of these spots out and see if you could change something around the hook size or something maybe you get the uni maybe a spot hell i don't know still trying to revisit this myself there's so many of these things to learn all right now if i don't get lost down here josh might, might have to help me to i found it earlier but give me a second boys i'll show you the fourth and final spot and again if you get in trouble since i didn't get the trophy at that one spawn point i could just spawn right back up there throughout there by them totem poles where that uh of course my tablet comes out any other time i jump jump on my boat on accident when my rod stands are out and something else And you guys tune in welcome to the stream trying to teach bobber burbot at least the only way that i know how to do it i don't claim to be the best or the worst in any of these but i do i am a middleman as far as knowing most of them now at least enough to give you guys a decent template okay this is the youtube spot down here i have not figured this spot out as well but i will give you my marker uh this one's odd now, obviously, don't be throwing large minnows off over here if you got fluoro line on. I do have a fluoro leader over top of braid. Uh, that is a keynote on my setup. You guys could change your setup, figure out something. Obviously, there might be a guy using a Troy in this 13-pounder. Uh, there's that. This spot's a lot deeper, but since the uni pike's all the way through here, I would suggest don't throw any shiners and minnows and stuff out there, boys. Now I'll give this one an attempt. This one spot I really couldn't figure out all that well. I'm just going to bottom this thing out because it is deep over here. Um, and you might have to adjust from here. We know the pike's all through here as well. So again, do not use minnows. I don't know. I don't think you would want to use a titanium leader. Uh, the burbot might be sensitive to it. They may not. But as you can see, I did put a little bit of points on the board. This spot again, I could not figure out like the other ones. I'll give it a minute or so if I can't get a bite, but I just want to make sure you guys had four spots to go to. Again, if you got another spot in the shallow somewhere, that's when you go out with bottom rods and bombard some areas in the shallow when you're just out messing around. Then maybe you got some shallower spots like that one I pulled that 11 pounder out of up there that is if this is one that you want to get into as you can see again the gap difference uh, there's a guy at 101 pounds so again if you strike out over here again i have not figured this one out quite yet but i'm sure there's a lot more burbot spots than i showed you Let me try shrimp just to make sure. Again, I just can't, this spot here, I just can't ever get a bite, but you've seen my mark. Uh, you might figure out how deep it is, and then again, you can spawn right back down here. If you need a few last minute points, hopefully you can. Uh, I've been, yeah, Gulf Shrimp and uh, Freshwater Crab's my secret bait that I just gave to everybody. But yeah, they'll eat Freshwater Crab. They see me catch a trophy on Gulf, Gulf Shrimp too. I'd mark that 169 for some reason, so that's what I'm going to leave it at. Now, again, this spot's convenient just in case, uh, you know, you ran into trouble at the end and you need to try to get another point. If you're lucky, you can. Again, I'd like to 
let this hug even though this thing floats you can get them all along that side over there don't mean that I will but since uh, didn't have much time left I'm lucky maybe I can get a trophy out of here not since I didn't get a trophy here so I got a trophy at the first spot I only got a common over here so I knew there was hopefully a trophy over here but no guarantees Again, that's deceiving because my bobber's so deep. In other words, my bait's probably way the hell back here somewhere. But let me try something. Let me try to shallow it up a little bit. Get it closer to the... Uh, what's that? 10 foot, boys? That's 10 foot deep on the bobber right now, so we'll see what happens. But at least I can let it drift between the two markers. I was getting ready to pull it in too. I don't know if he's there though. I didn't feel a vibration yet. Come on now, give us one more fish. Nothing. Mess that one up, boys. As you can see, I was worried about the time. Alright, guys. I'll show the marks again. That way everybody has them. But uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of work to do. I caught that just in time. All right, so spot one's way the hell down here. There's a boat mark if you, or a caught mark if you need it. Uh, you can get them at both spots if you notice. I kind of park here though, but you can come over here, cast to there as well. I was actually casting towards that rock though. You remember if I got the trophy at the start. So that's spot one for me. Spot two was here off the uh, spawn point. Spot three, you can come down here and just go on where all the pike and stuff are. Um, or no, wrong marks. Hold on, I think I'm getting lost now. Oh yeah, right here. So that's spot three, and these are all kind of contained. And then the YouTube spot, where the hell is that at? That's Taman. Is it here? Yep. And that could be because I, I caught that on a sunny day, but I don't know why that would matter. But uh, anyway, that will conclude the uh, Bobber Burbot here on the channel. Let me look at the schedule and see what's coming up here. And I do hope that helps somebody somewhere at least get you a base foundation for this thing. I think it probably could be a fun one. 
if you could go through and get a uni or two. Uh, we do have the, uh, I will play in this again, but uh, again, I'm going to do a few things offline here and then I'll start a stream back up and do a, do a couple, at least one of these in a row, maybe two. Uh, and I've already did these. So I'll just put up a comp grind, live comp grind. If you guys want to stop by or you guys playing it, if not, good luck. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Hope this helps somebody.